Well, hello, everyone. I was not planning on doing this, but fate had different ideas. We're going to have a vlog. Yes, it's spring here, and the coyotes are active. I've been hearing them howling. So I have to stay up really, really late tonight and make sure they don't get on the property or the neighboring ones. So I'm in for a long night and I've got some caffeine right here to keep me company and Richella over here beating your distance. Come on, Richella. Come here, Chella Chew. Come here, Chella Chew. I choose you. I choose you, Chella Chew. Look how big she's getting. It's a vloggity vlog vlog. So, so, you know, you can be like front and center. You can ham it up now. Look how big she is. She's like huge and stuff. She you just shake your heads? You can have a vloggity vlog vlog with us? It's Amberlynn Reed would say, says, I'm going to lay down in your lap, dude. Well, she's going to lay down in the lap. And that's how it is. Now, it's interesting for me because my life has always worked out that one chapter closes and a brand new interesting chapter begins. And here in the Dark Grove, you never know what interesting thing may come down that road. Now, I don't broadcast this, and I do rarely see the individual, but one of my old cohorts from the old neighborhood does live in this region of Kentucky. And ever so rare now and again, he will wander down that road. Now, he's known me for, well... Longer than YouTube can imagine, let's put it that way. You know, we did know each other before we had driver's license at 16. So, you know, that that kind of gives you a time frame. Now, he moved down here long before I did. You know, for legal reasons, let's put it that way. And it's interesting because the patterns of our lives is... Many times, he would be getting out of crime, and I would be getting into crime. And it's interesting, because it seems that he has gotten out of crime. Now, that's just an interesting observation I put in for color. But, uh, interesting thing is, is I may have found a scooter. Now, I am waiting on a reply, and I'm hoping it's not sold, but... You know, hopefully real soon, if all goes well, I will have at least some form of transportation. I just have to, one, they still have to have it, and two, it has to be what they claim it is. Now, if they claim what it is, I'll be more than happy to pay them their reasonable amount for it. Still hurts a little bit, but reasonable amount. Now... It was funny because we could only find this one to really go look at because most people are trying to put off garbage or things that need a ridiculous amount of work or or a few that bought the scooter and then want to sell it for just exactly what they bought it for. So, you know, that, that was interesting sitting this evening looking at people's fantasies. So, you know, I've got a good line on a scooter, and we'll see how this plays out. Like I say, you know, the pickings were slim, so I'm hoping no one has already bought this, and it was kind of late evening when we sent the message, so, you know, hopefully tomorrow I'll get some sort of a callback on it, and we will see how that works. And then sometime on a weekend, you know, I should be able to go get it or at least look at it, make sure it is what it is. And if it is what it is, I will gladly throw down the money and be happy. Now, once again, where I mentioned that 
this individual, I've known him for so long, you know, we had a lot of talk about things in common, old friends, business associates. Now, it actually turns out that many of my former associates now are in the region. And their children. This is going to be a culture shock for me. So, you know, it, it'll be interesting to Now, they're not quite close. You know, they're not close, close to me. But, you know, they're within the region. You know, probably about the same distance between me and Amberlynn Reed. I don't even like to look in this direction. You know why? Because 45 minute drive from here, that direction, Amberlynn Reed sits on her couch. Chewing. But I digress. So, you know, I'm working on things here. And now, yesterday and today, I've taken two days off. That I have. Now, tomorrow, I've got to get back to it. And I've been resting up. And I think Rachel is already asleep in my lap. Now, another interesting thing in the vloggity vlog... I am now acclimating the kitties outside. The new ones. Rachella loves the deck. She loves outside. Now, she's mainly, I'm keeping her on the deck. She wants to go down and I won't let her because I don't want her to get overwhelmed by it all. Now, little Thor, he's not really paying attention. He really is not much interested in it. But... Little Buddy Fulgrim. I was trying to change his name to Snoopy, but he likes Fulgrim, so I guess we're sticking with that. And Thor likes being little Thor, and Richella just says, I'm Richella, aren't you, honey? He says, I'm Richella. Now, I noticed on my channel, I'm starting to have trolls that are trying to insinuate there are issues with my cats when there are none. So, you're going to see when I do lives, me be indignant to those people and immediately block them. So, that's just a friendly heads up. So, you know why I'm saying F you and just blocking them. Because, I mean, come here, Chelsea, you... Come here, Chilla Chew. I mean, look at this. This is a four-month-old kitten. This is a very happy, healthy four-month-old kitten. And all my animals, except for Sissy, is happy and healthy. And Sissy's only because she's at the end of life, and she's doing quite well. You know, she has recovered from her last bout. She got a bath on the deck today. She did not like that. Now, my current issue was it was supposed to rain today. And I had set out extra catch buckets and I've been using in them to do my spring cleaning. And I am about completely out of water. I only have enough for the kitties. Don't I, honey? So that kind of puts an end to some of my work. Now, tomorrow... We are supposed to get rain and a thunderstorm. So I'm hoping that will replenish my supply. And things are going quite well here. And Joe's all back in my lap and laying back like this. And, and it's been really nice. Now, I'm rearranging the game room and... And I'll probably use the game room as a streaming room because that's also going to, in the spring. I like to use that as my lounge around room. And I plan on playing some strategy war games in that room too and, and have a nice big combat board set up with units and all sorts of other things for my entertainment. And this little kitty is going to help me 
because that's what kitties do. Especially when it comes to board games and strategy war games and they'll devastate armies. I wonder how much the giant cat unit costs. She's just looking at me at the eye, flaking out again. Like I said, she's had a big day outside. And she's pretty happy, and I'm fairly rested. And if it wasn't for the coyotes, I would already be in bed. But I have to stay up, so I'm doing this to kind of keep myself awake. Now... Another nice thing is since my friend did stop by today, he did take me down to the store and I got, well, more than food than I could afford. And I'm not going to eat well this month, but I'm going to eat because of the way that Mindsight Support did me, I got no winter assistance. I've been eating my entire electric bill for the entire winter and I'm entitled to four to six hundred dollars of assistance. They cheated me out of about, yeah, about six hundred dollars in assistance. Four hundred for the winter program and a hundred and eighty four dollars out of the uh, November program. So and usually I use that to kind of stock up on extra here. So I didn't get to do that this year. So, you know, uh, I've been eating well. I've gained about 10 pounds, but those are going to be coming off because I'm going to be going down to every other day eating. At least for a month or so. So, you know, that is what it is. I can smile about it because I've not started it yet. But, you know, uh, tomorrow I have to start picking spots to grow stuff. Because, you know, uh, given the economy and the failures of our system and given that our government could completely screw up our checks at any point or a cyber attack, I am converting this farm into a food growing operation, which is going to be a ton of work for me. So we will talk about that as it goes on and is I'll see how much meat I need and I have plans to keep expanding it. You know, if if the world ends, I'll have cattle here. I'll have pigs. I'll have chicken. And I already got about ten to 15,000 fish in that pond over there. And Grimgoth living on the island. Because that's just the way Grimgoth rolls. So, you know, I'll have all sorts of meat, plus... If the world goes to hell, I can just start hunting again. And I hate skinning, you know. The, really, the only reason why I don't hunt is I abhor skinning animals. You know, honesty. You know, the gutting isn't the bad part. It's the skinning them that I abhor. But, you know, if worse comes to worse, you know, I can shoot squirrels as I used to as a child. They used to make me. In reality, that is how I got to be such a good shot. They would hand you the twenty two rifle, they would hand you a bag, and they would say, bring us back a full bag of squirrels. And I would think about, you know, I'd blink at them, I would take the bag, I would take the gun, and I would go hunt squirrels. But I'm thinking nasty thoughts at them the entire time. And that's the way that it used to go in my family when I was a child. Because, you know, they really liked to eat squirrels and bunnies. And, you know, you know uh, that was the other thing that they wanted heavily of was bunnies, too. But, you know, I was never one that could bring bunnies back in bulk. You know, it's a twenty-two rifle. You see the squirrels in the trees and, and you learn to pick them off. And... That's really a lot of what makes Kentucky in such a good shot. The squirrels. Now, personally, I don't think there's enough meat on the squirrels. But, you know, if it actually comes down to it, you know, I will eat the squirrels. I will eat the bunnies. This year, uh, 
I came up with an idea of something else I can do for meat. Uh, I do plan on harvesting turtles. I never knew how to skin a turtle, but it's actually on YouTube. That surprised me. So, you know, I'm going to, and you can get about five or six pounds of meat off a large one. And my mother used to make fried turtle and it was amazing. So, you know, I already know of a recipe and I ate earlier well and I've made myself hungry. Yep, I, I just did thinking about it. So, you know, uh, I can't get up to the pond alone, but when someone's here, I could set out some turtle lines, but set them way far from the shore, and uh, I can get me some turtle. So, you know, that's one of my ideas to extra my meat supply, because our local dollar store, they're telling you that the hamburger is under five dollars a pound and on my receipt today they're charging 550 and they're lying by 55 cents a pound on the price and screwing you at the register dollar general uh humping the consumer as best they can and that's been basically my day or two and as i said i've had an interesting day and Got to smoke a pot with an old buddy, and I'm going to smoke some pot with this cat. Actually, I'm going to smoke the pot, and the cat's going to have some catnip, because, you know, while I was down there, I got a bag of catnip. So, you know, uh, these cats that people are gaslighting that I abuse them, I'm going to take my pot, and I'm going to smoke it. I'm going to take this catnip down there, and me and these kitties are going to cheech and chong it out. Now, the odd thing is, is Rachella is not interested in catnip at all. It, you know, it's it's her thing, but all the rest of us are very interested in it. Now, everyone, please put your comments below, and have a good night.